Hi guys, I'm Marcello, welcome to a new first look video. Today I show you Guns, Lingers and Zombies by Live Motion Games. This is a team based strategy game, an adventure game. We must survive, scavenge and explore the world. We must use the different talents of the team members and develop the tactics against zombies. I'll show you a little bit of gameplay just to give you uh, an insight of the game. Uh, there is also a giveaway here, uh, just check the description below for all the details, okay? Let's go! We have the settings, ultra, okay, it's okay, texture quality, all okay. Let's go, chapter one. Let's have a look at the tutorial. What's going on here? Why are these people behaving like that? Why? Is their skin green? We were in that part for too long, man. I told you we need to stop. We're drunk. No, man. It's real. Water from a well has been stinking for... A few days. Maybe it was poisoned? We didn't drink it. I don't know, man, but they behave like animals. Click to play. Here we are. Move camera with USD. Okay, rotate Q and A. Okay. Okay, zoom in and zoom out. Find unit with yellow triangle over it and select it by clicking left mouse button. When mouse is over your unit, you can see ma such circle. On top, you can see unit's name and type. Life, unit's name and type, okay. Life, red bar. Uh, left show now it's full as soon as it reaches zero you die action blue bar on the right show how much action point select unit has okay Norman the stalker and then we have Reginald the killer okay after selecting the unit you can see more info about it in the left button oh, bottom corner Bandage, hope you never heard use of them, but when we need arise, they can save your life, okay? And loots, you can collect quest items, they store in bag with limited capacity. Okay, let's move. Mm. Zombies. Zombie ahead, zombie appearing in your high sights. You can see their stats if mouse is over, just like with your units. Ch chance to hit. The only difference is that instead of action point, you will see chance to hit. That depends on distance between units and your weapon. High sight, zombie will spot you if you walk into their red area or if you attack them. Okay. You can also switch between select unit using team panel on the left side. If you hover the mouse over one of the avatars, you will see his basic stats. Okay. Sprint. You can move further to a yellow arrow, but it costs you two action points instead of one. Okay. The killer. Let's go here. It's nice. It's very nice. If you did everything what you wanted to do in this turn, just click the blue. Okay. Um, okay, here are... In this red area, we we will get spotted by the enemy. By the enemies. The zombies have name too. Your turn. Let's see if we can hit them too far. For attack. If you are in position to attack or you will be after moving to select call you will see the shield. The shield allows you to allow you no shows you damage multiply. It can be in three color. Yellow attack from higher normal damage. Orange attack from side higher damage. Red attack from back the highest damage. Okay we can attack this but the tutorial wants us to go here. Weapon. In the right bottom corner you can see the panel with your current weapon. It shows you name of weapon and its image, base damage, range, ammunition in magazine inventory. Aiming at zombie. If you have select units and you hover 
mouse over the zombie and you will see more details life is represented now with red stripes it's zombies life before shot there may be also a solid part which represents life after attack right now we can't see it it means that this shot is gonna kill him great click to attack cool let's move here you can see the attack And turn. Oh, oh. Oh. Zombies is near us, so it would be a good idea to use knife. It saves your ammo and has higher chance for hit. To change weapons, click that icon on a bottom panel or use shortcut written below that icon. From there you can choose weapons from your inventory, if you hover the mouse over weapon you will see its detail. Now choose the knife, we can choose the knife, oh from here, change, wow, very cool, and let's attack. And move here. Now I can do the same thing here, maybe. No, I can shoot. Oh, oh, missed. Didn't go as planned. You miss your shirt. Now, zombie has a big chance to hurt you. To prevent that, you can switch to higher defense mode click the icon on the bottom panel now for one turn that unit will have higher protection unfortunately there's nothing for free you have to spend one action point to set defense unit will defense set the such mark okay let's use the defense stance and hand the turn i love the music too here Let's go on the back and kill him with a knife. Help me, I'm hurt. You can heal yourself or somebody who is near you using bandage. Right now, right now your body needs help. Run to him. Now that you're near your, your body, click on the heal icon on the bottom panel. Now. When you click on a hurt unit, it will be healed. Okay. Click to heal. You've successfully completed the tutorial. Continue the mission, save the civilian, and go to the canyon where story finally begins. To save civilians, stand near and click on him. On them. Click to save. And the turn. I think that this game is very interesting. I want to end the tutorial. Let's see, we have... Click to reload, change weapon. Civilian save. You just save the civilian, he will now join your team and help you shooting these zombies. Okay guys, my first look ends here. Um, remember the giveaway for Gaslingers and Zombies. Remember that this is a game in early access, already, already available. And remember to share, subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching, ciao!